Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set involving a couple of pie charts. It says that there are five working members in a family. The pie chart on the left gives their contribution to the total family income. And the pie chart on the right gives uh, the expenses under different hands uh, made by the family during a particular month. So this is income, this is expenses. And this expense includes saving as well. Okay, so uh, like we are given the same data in two formats, uh, the same total distributed in two formats. The only thing is here we have something in degrees and here we have in percentages. So one must know that how to convert degree to percentages. 100% is 360 degree. Okay, so that means one degree is equal to 3.6. 1% uh, is equal to 3.6 degrees or if you have to find 1 degree, 1 degree is your, <clears throat> you have to divide by 3.6 or you can say you can divide by uh, or you can uh, instead multiply by 5 by 18. Okay, So if you multiply by 5 by 18, you get the percentage terms. So this will be 35%. Okay, Multiply by 5, divide by 18. This will come as 11%, 18 into 22 is 396, so this is 11%. Similarly, this will be 20%. Okay, when you convert this, <coughs> this will be 16% and this will come as 18%. Once you do the calculations, you will get this. So you can verify also 35, 46, 66, 82 and 100%. Okay, so this is the contribution. Now, why did we convert to percentages? So that we can map uh, these values across the two pie charts. All right. Now there are some questions that involve certain bit of logic as well. How many expense heads except savings cannot be entirely covered by Devansha's salary? So Devansha's salary is 11%. Okay. Now we need to check that which of these cannot be covered by uh, 11%. Now this is excluded because you have to exclude savings. Now this cannot be covered by 11%. This can be covered, this can be covered, this can be covered, this cannot be covered. Okay, so it is saying how many expense heads cannot be entirely covered, right? So this can be partially covered, partially covered, but cannot be entirely covered. So there are two such categories which cannot be entirely covered by Devansh's salary. Prerna's entire income is used in exactly two expense heads. Which of these cannot be that category? Now, again, the percentage thing will be helpful. Now, Prerna is contributing 16% of the income. Now, her income is used in two expense heads. Now, we are given these percentages. Let us find the combination of 16%. Okay. Now, 4 plus 12 is 16. Then, it could be 5 plus 11. Now, 5 plus 11, there are two possibilities. Like, either you take this 5, utility value 5, plus 11, or you take the other five that is uh, this white five is others plus 11. So there are two possibilities. Now there are three ways in which her uh, income can be exactly used in two different expense heads. Now it says that which of these cannot be that category. Now utilities, utilities is 5%. So it is possible that it can be the category. Insurance. Insurance is 8%. Now, this definitely is not that category. Fuel is 11% possible. Entertainment is 12%. So, entertainment is also possible. But definitely not insurance because insurance is 8%. At most, how many expense heads can entirely be covered by Akshat's salary? So, Akshat's salary... Uh, is 35 percent now we need to see that how many of these expenses can be entirely covered so we need to add these so we will pick the minimum possible values let us start with four then we have two fives available okay then we have eight available so thus far we have uh, 9 14 22 percent so we can add 11 also we can add 12 also Right. That will uh, lead to 
थर्टी थ्री और थर्टी फोर परसेंट ओके नाउ वी कैन नॉट एड बोथ ऑफ दैट एंड वी कैन नॉट एड अ हायर वैल्यू वी कैन नॉट एड ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑल्सो बिकॉज वी विल पिक द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉसिबल सो वी कैन हैव वन टू थ्री फोर एंड एट द मैक्स फिफ्थ हेड ऑल्सो कवर्ड सो वी कैन कवर फाइव कैटेगरीज अंडर हिज सैलरी कंप्लीटली ओके वी कैन नॉट हैव द फिफ्थ सिक्स वन If the combined salary of Sasmith and Kirti are utilized entirely in exactly three expense heads, which of the which of these is definitely one of them? So Sasmith and Kirti, right? Kirti is contributing twenty percent, and Sasmith is contributing eighteen percent. So total thirty eight. Now what we need to do is we need to find three numbers such that they add up to exactly thirty eight. Okay. Now if we add, see we cannot include thirty. okay uh, because if we include 30 we cannot make 8 out of two things like we cannot make 4 plus 4 so 30 is excluded if we include like these 12 11 8 so they do not make 38% so we need a big chunk and that is only possible with 25 so one of these chunks is 25 now the remaining two should be 13 now let us think of 13 how can we make 13 we can make 5 plus 8 13 Okay, and no other possibility. So we have to make twenty-five plus five plus eight. Okay, now we have two categories that are five percent. So twenty-five percent is food that will be definitely there. Eight percent is insurance, and five percent can be two possibilities, right? Either it will be utilities or it will be others. Now the question asks, which of these is definitely one of them? clothing clothing is 4% no clothing is not one of them utilities maybe right it may be we cannot say that it is definitely others others is also 5% maybe so if one of them will be there like either this will be there or this will be there we cannot have both of them so we cannot say that it is definitely there insurance is definitely there 8% this is definitely there so that is the answer so one needs to be careful in answering these questions some students think that the question is incorrect and leave it right the question is not incorrect it is perfectly fine insurance is we can definitely say utilities and others we might have one of these two if akshat contributes an equal amount to all the expenses at least what percentage of the family saving constitutes akshat's income now we have to find the minimum so at least means minimum now we need to minimize this portion minimum contribution of akshat in savings and we need to put max in the remaining categories right so if he has to put the maximum possible in these categories and that also equal amount to all these categories okay now how to get that equal amount see if he we will pick the smallest of these values why will we pick the smallest let us say if i say 5% here right so there are seven categories okay so if i put 55555 this is only 4% right the, he cannot contribute to this like this will exceed the total expense so we will pick this 4% so he will keep, like 4% 4% 4 4 4 so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 4 into 7 28% is gone 28% of the total income right akshat's ka uh, like akshat has 35% out of it 28 is gone in these and because he is contributing equal suppose we pick a lower number let us say we can pick 3 3 3 3 so then it will not be the maximum possible we have to contribute maximum possible such that it is equal across all seven categories so maximum equal we can put is 4% 4 4 4 4 28 is gone now 35 was the total salary so 7% of total income okay now now some of you might be tempted to answer 7% as the answer but that is incorrect the reason is this is 30% it is saying what percent of saving so 7% income out of 30% so 7 by 30 is 23.33% so that will be the answer to this question so this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions